now Kyle won't talk to me. And oh, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just overthinking it, but he just won't even like look at me really. Now I'm cozy, but I love sitting next to you. No, but people are like, oh, then he has to choose between you and Taylor. And then you're like, oh, you're America's sweetheart. You're Miss USA. Who's saying that? You, I could hear you. But I'm telling you, dude, like, I had maybe a three-minute conversation with Taylor in the bathroom just about pageant stuff. Yeah. And Alyssa goes to her bed, and Jasmine's like, you need to go and talk to her. I'm not the most picky. Oh, be careful with that. Okay. I'm not the most picky, like, cleaner of things. Cleaner? Like, with this stuff, I just, like, kind of rinse it off, wash it real quick, like... I was watching someone in the other way. I'm sorry. Put that away. I pushed you a little, did you say? <laughs> Ooh, one corner left of ZD. Now, I'm making light of Alyssa going straight psycho, straight stalker, straight bunny boiler with Kyle, but honestly, it might be time to start taking it a little seriously. Add it to the, the pile of problems that keep stacking up with this cast. Now, I actually watched the Wednesday episode. This is only the third episode of the season that I've watched because I usually only watch live feeds except for eviction episodes, even though this season, even watching eviction episodes, haven't done that. So I'm going to talk about the episode first, and then we'll talk a little bit about the feeds as we are a day away from this week's eviction. Honestly, this episode, it was an okay edit. We'll say it was an okay edit the, the worst part to me is that they had to play catch-up with all of the shit happening to Taylor that we did not get a good edit for The Leftovers. The build to The Leftovers was subpar because they had to play catch-up because they were trying to sweep all the problems of the house, bullying and isolating Taylor under the rug. I am glad that... They had a segment on colorism for Taylor, something we didn't get last season when Aza was a victim of colorism from y'all's favorite, Tiffany. But they never actually gave a reason why Taylor was feeling some type of way because they didn't show the weeks of shit that Taylor was going through. But we did get to see... Uh, the real Daniel and Nicole in this edit. I'm glad that the casuals get to see this. I haven't checked Facebook, but I would love to know what Facebook thought, because Facebook has been hating this cast as much as everybody, which is a shocker to me. But yeah, this uh, fight just pissed me off all over again and reminded me why I hate almost this entire cast. The fact that Taylor's going through this fight and nobody's even there to stick up for her, of course. And nobody's even there to try and make her feel better because she's been on the outside of everyone this whole time. And that's why the edit still annoys me because they paint it as Taylor has a hard time opening up to people or, or isn't opening up to people. When the reality is nobody gave her a chance to open up and nobody wanted her to open up. She wasn't given a chance because of all of their problematic behaviors for this entire season so far. So I'm sure most of the casuals were lost as to why Nicole wasn't even a big fan of Taylor, why she wanted to throw the comp so bad, because I don't think they've done a good job of painting any of this. But I'm glad that the episode will depict Daniel to forever be the asshole, problematic, fried-haired bitch that he is. And it also shows why Nicole just sucks so bad. You can tell that Nicole is an ex-cop by the way she can totally escalate a situation rather than de-escalate it. Even when it is would work better for her game to de-escalate a situation, nope, 
Nicole's going to escalate it because she is an emotional player and she's a control freak. And I really hope things continue to not go her or Daniel's way to see them continue to unravel, to see their true ugly selves come out. But this still reminded me why the the rest of the house has sucked up to this point and why I am apprehensive to give most of the people in the leftovers any chance yet to make me feel like they are changed people. Well, we're going to get to it with Turner here in a while. He gets some credit from me. But man, watching them all do nothing during that fight, because this most of this fight on the episode was not on feats. And then not console her because they're, they're worried about their own asses, even though... <sighs> I'm, I'm just glad this depicted how much of a group think was going on in this house, how big of a sheep they really were for over two weeks in this game. Because, man, I hate pussies. I hate pussies. I mean, I love pussy, but I hate pussies. And, of course, like I called it, they did not give joe any credit in this episode when he deserved way more credit than they got this also goes to show that kyle is one of production's favorites as i called and that's why i think kyle is the odds on favorite to win this game by far by far i don't even i don't even know if there's a close second i've considered michael a close second because i know production's favorites are always white males but i don't even know if michael's that close to being the favorite for a production so Kyle was getting most of the credit here when Joe deserved a whole lot more. They didn't even edit in Joseph's birthday, which was very entertaining overall. So the edit was still a downer because the show had to play catch up because most of their past edits have been so bad, probably. Anyway, on to the feeds. The Kyle and Alyssa situation continues to... <sighs> get worse i think for kyle i mean i genuinely think he might need a restraining order when he gets out of this house i know people are saying that and i have to agree because Alyssa has jealous issues they've known each other for three weeks and she's already feeling like kyle is hers even though kyle has rejected her or friend zoned her multiple times <sighs> like let, honestly, let's be serious, because I'm making a joke out of this, but let's be serious. Because if the roles were reversed, and this was a guy doing this to a girl in the house, the amount of uproar would be gigantic, because it would be scary, because it's a, it's a, it's a guy in that situation who would be stalking a girl and not taking no for an answer, because, you know, no should mean no, but uh, now, since it's the, uh, the reverse, you know, we all make light of it, but seriously to pretend that women out there are not stalkers and not psychos is very very wrong because they are so um yeah Alyssa, i honestly think this is a problem not just on a game level it's beyond weird at this point like i've been making fun of it saying it's getting weird but it's it's beyond weird the the, the dynamics of the leftovers are interesting i think it divides along the lines of you know michael and Brittany are of course close but kyle and michael are also close and then we have joseph and monty who are close and then the four guys minus michael have their own little alliance but kyle also has that alliance with michael and Brittany. which brings me to taylor and turner who seem to be developing a good friendship on a personal level but they really need to speed up their relationship on a game level because I genuinely think if they do that they are going to be able to play the middle of this alliance when it eventually divides between Monty and Joseph and Kyle and Michael which is most likely inevitable although like I always say Kyle has a good social game and has a good relationship with all the guys in that alliance another reason why kyle is probably the odds on favorite to win but hopefully joseph can continue to play his good game even though it won't make the edits but honestly how hard is it to give credit to multiple players in an episode survivor even sucks at this sometimes where they just depict certain characters always doing well 
But in reality, everybody's playing their own game, and we should be able to see multiple different points of view and multiple different angles. But no, we always get the lowest common denominator edits. But I hope Joseph continues to maneuver himself as well as I think he is savvy enough to do. It will be interesting to see who makes the first move in the leftovers, although the first move I still think could be Brittany or even Michael doing a little bit too much before it needs to be done. But I see a lot of people, because on the feeds all the time, Jasmine is always sitting with her back to Taylor. An obvious sign of disrespect, an obvious mean girl tactic, probably. She's done this the entire season so far. She did this again today. And I get why this upsets a lot of people, because that is super disrespectful. But let's honestly look at it from a point of view of Taylor's, like, would you really always want to sit across from Jasmine? I know I wouldn't, and I'm not as nice as Taylor, though. I would not want to have to sit across and see Jasmine's face all the time because I'm not trying to lose my appetite. So we have to look at the silver lining of that situation for Taylor. She does not have to lose her appetite and can continue to eat her Lay's potato chips. And as for the second blind side this week, which seems inevitable because Amira believes she is not 50-50, not 75% sure she's staying, not even 99% sure she is staying. Amira is 100% sure she is staying. And once again, the guys like Monty and Kyle and Joseph deserve credit in this. The leftovers wanting to split the vote so close, I have mixed feelings on. I get what they're trying to do. They want to have the vote be close and be like six to five, because they're trying to set up Daniel and Nicole to make it seem like they are two of the people that flipped. And they've done a good job of setting this up. Turner, Turner's best thing that he does is plant seeds. Turner has planted so many seeds against Daniel this week very well that got to give Turner some credit on that front. Oh, and I forgot to mention why I, I, because yesterday I said I'm I have to keep my eye close on Turner, and when Jasmine was sitting her back towards Taylor today, Turner is the one that went and sat by. Taylor because he saw what was happening so Turner continues to be consistent in his hatred for bull bullying so credit to Turner on that as well and he also is doing good on the uh, seed planting thing but all it's going to take is for one of the outsiders to finally grow a brain like as we saw in this episode the leftovers have not always had this brain they have been sheep for most of this season and i'm having a hard time thinking about who might grow that brain it would probably have to be nicole or daniel as much as they are hated but if one of them grows a brain if the the vote is six to five and terrence already has an idea of who whose votes he's going to get i think that close of a vote might just expose the leftovers too much because all of the leftovers well not all of them but most of them like Joseph and Kyle and Monty and Taylor are kind of alluding to Terrence that he's staying. So Terrence is going to get this idea of who's actually voting for him. And Terrence is such a flip flopper. He's just here to flow and do nothing. So I don't know if they should really want the vote to be this close. I think if they're trying to keep the alliance hidden, you might want to have the gap in the votes a little more wider, you know, like maybe eight to three or something just so they can't figure out the alliance this soon. But we'll see. So far, the other side is all dumb. They're all losing their spot. Indy's not playing. Alyssa's obsessed with Kyle, so she's not playing. Nicole and Daniel continue to only play with each other because they think they're just this badass duo that nobody sees, yet they're always together. Terrence doesn't care terrence goes with the wind like i say amira's going home and jasmine's game is going to unravel because all she does is boss people around she tells people to cook and then insults their food 
So her nice act is wearing thin because everybody sees she's not really nice. She's just a bitchy little bully. So the other side, their heads aren't in the game. So the 6-5 the vote, pinning it on Daniel and Nicole, could work. And hopefully it does lead to one of their asses going home next week. <laughs>